Oh, what do I remember about the movie? The, probably the part that everybody remembers is when he gets out of the water and he's got the leeches all over him. That's the most memorable part. Um, well, how well uh, him and Bogey and Catherine got along and arguing and pouring out the booze and <laughs> all the good stuff. Going past the, the fort and getting shot at, and it was great. Yeah, excellent movie. Well, Catherine Hepburn, you know, with her, she had like a hat on and you know the the period dress or whatever, and trying to stay so prim and proper through all the heat. <laughs> this boat was built and shipped to Africa by the English to. Uh, As narrow as it is, it's a river boat, and uh, so they used it in the movie, and they filmed it in Africa. Catherine Hepburn, she was so sick that in the scenes that you, you seen the movie, in the scenes that she had, they kept the bucket that she could run and throw stuff in, and throw up in if she had to while doing the scene, because when she ran to the outhouse the first time, there was a black mamba in it. And uh, so she wouldn't use that anymore. Well, in the film class, they uh, talked about it as the uh, frumpy nature of Bogart as this sort of down and out loser bopping around Africa and uh, Catherine Hepburn as a missionary's daughter and her waking her sexuality on the boat. That's what the professor said, you know. And I thought was the corniest part of the ending of it was the torpedo that they let loose. It circles around and circles around and they think their mission is finished and then it hits the German boat and sinks it. I was like, oh, well, this is definitely a Hollywood ending to a propaganda <laughs> film. That's what I remember most about it. <laughs> well, I remember a lot about the dynamic between them on the boat as their relationship was developing. I mean, you know, really for a movie to just have two characters for that long and carry it off, I mean, the scripting in it, I think is amazing. Um, as, as they, uh, as he said, they both evolve in their personality and their relationship. Oh my gosh, I remember the sound of that. It's a steam engine, right? And I just remember the sound of it, the clunk, 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 and how, you know, he kicked it and banged on it to make it work. And just her tenacity for sticking with it. That was, I think, my two greatest memories of that. And uh, one thing that I'm trying to get my husband to meet me down here at some point, because we bought a boat after 38 years of marriage, and it was a 1980 Elbin. 36 foot, about this length, and it has a diesel engine in it. And when they started it up, I just started cracking up. I'm like, it's the African queen. It just sounded that old to me, you know? I got used to the sound and it got us all the way around Great American Loop, 5,000 miles or more, so. Uh, it was a valve, the valve that lets the steam go after it builds up pressure, it goes down in that thing. There's a there's a gap. There's a pipe tube there, and he was beating on the valve. He would beat on that thing, and he said, "She said, why don't you just put a new valve on it?" And uh, so he said, "Oh, I just enjoy beating on it." Something like that in the movie was the line. They beat it. He'd beat on it and they'd just start working again. Oh my gosh. Was she going to throw him overboard? I think she was going to throw him overboard or vice versa. I just, it was that, um, it was a tension between them and, and the love affair that, that's just pretty cool.